an evening. It's new life. You can clearly see lockdown has taken a very physical effect on me and mental for that matter. But right, you know what? We're just not even gonna get into it, okay? We all know that this is shit. This is not a great time for anyone. And I'm just here to spread posy vibes, so don't mind me. Did I just say posy vibes? I did, I literally did. Like those words just came out of my mouth and I thought it was a good idea. You know I'm a good fan of a glow up. I'd much rather let myself fall off dramatically and then have like an amazing glow up and like amazing results than like consistently keep a good appearance. Like I'd far rather like an extreme glow up. I've done about seven on the channel and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. But this one is sponsored by Beauty Bay, which is amazing because like everyone shops in Beauty Bay anyway. Like as if I'm gonna drive into town, park, walk into a public place looking like this, imagine, imagine, and buy makeup. Like who has the time or effort for that? Certainly not me. I definitely do have the time, but like, I don't do anything. Did you just see that like bum crack? Anyway, let's not get into it. I never go buy makeup in town. Like I always just order online, but especially now, like all the shops are closed. You literally can't buy makeup. So where else are you gonna buy it? Beauty Bay. Like it's literally the only place I would think to go buy makeup or any like beauty related products. Consider that some of you might not know what Beauty Bay is. Basically, it's a website where you can get loads of makeup and beauty products, and they literally have like every brand you could think of. I think they launch something like 7,000 new products every week. They also have like a rewards point system as well, so you can like get watchers and money all. And they have their own beauty line. But anyway, yeah, I'm sure you already know what it is, but just in case you didn't. So they were like, Yeah, we'd love to work with you on this video, and I was like, Whoop to do, hardy hardy, let's get ready, let's just absolutely transform ourselves. Also, Normally, like, me and my boyfriend would probably see each other, like, every day. Well, not every day, but, like, most days of the week. And, uh, obviously, no, we're not seeing each other at all. He is, like, a very dry texture. Like, I could be, like, oh, my God, my whole family just died in, like, a tragic house fire and all my pets. And now I'm dying, too. And it'd be, like, half fair. Nice. So then we just, like, made the decision when we were just gonna, like, stay together for the rest of lockdown. Like, he was gonna come live with me. But then our parents were, like, no, wait, like, two weeks to see if anyone of the family shows any symptoms because like say like if his dad got it he's not gonna come living with me and then give it to my whole family okay but basically i feel the need to come on here because on tiktok like i was posting tiktoks and stuff and my boyfriend would be in the background or whatever and people thought i was like meeting up with people and were giving me so much hate because in my video i was like don't meet up with your friends don't meet up with your boyfriends or girlfriends and they thought i was literally like just going against my advice i still stand by that like i haven't been meeting up with anyone at all as if my mom and dad would even let me but me and my boyfriend always decided we were gonna live together during this lockdown but he had seen his parents on the day lockdown was announced so he wasn't just gonna come to my house and give it to my whole family so we literally took the precaution of waiting two weeks so that if any mum was going to show symptoms they would have by now and in that two weeks I wasn't like meeting up with him or meeting up with my friends or anything if he wants to live with me it's fine like my parents are completely fine with it like he's literally staying with me to the end of lockdown so like my dad is literally so panicky about getting this he wears a mask in my back garden so I wouldn't have let him come if it was going to be a health hazard to my family so don't worry about us we're fine but you can leave me hate comments if you want because I've literally been like crying last night because I get so many and I'm just really fragile and sensitive and I hate hate comments okay bye so we waited two weeks and then Matthew, my brother, was like, hey, yeah, like I have a fever and just completely milked it, lay in bed for seven days, got all those meals brought to him. There was nothing wrong with him. There was absolutely nothing wrong with him. He is just the most dramatic queen ever. He did live his best life in that seven days. He just watched non-stop Netflix and constant meals. Maybe I'll pretend I got the symptoms. That is kind of revolutionary of him. I respect that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with him. So it's been two weeks now and my boyfriend's coming tomorrow. And like this is the first social interaction I've had at all. Like I am honestly like I got butterflies. Like I'm gonna do a nervous poo now because I actually like I'm way too excited. Okay, right. Enough talking. Let's get into the first phase of the glow up. Okay, hey girl, pops. It is short time. I do have a bikini on. If you're thinking I'm being a bit frisky, that's not what we're doing today. That's for another day. So I actually just have my fungal treatment of my fungal infection. You can't get that one on Beauty Bay, unfortunately. In case you're really wanting a fungal infection. And then while I was waiting for that to work, I did the Chloe Ting ab workout it's like they get six pack in two weeks one it's amazing like it's my favorite ab workout in the world and she's so fun and encouraging and like all the other models they just like don't bring a sweat and they just look perfect and they don't speak the whole time like that is not a bit of me whereas the chloe ting one is my sh it's my jam like i'm really enjoying it why did i just go so red don't wait why am i going red this is the problem like whenever i'm this pale and i get the slightest bit flustered i just go bright red like my whole skin is red right now so we're not don't look at it so i just use a normal shampoo and conditioner normally but before if i have like a special event like literally probably like once a month i use purple shampoo because i find if i use it too often it kind of clings to my extensions a wee bit but the purple shampoo i use is this fudge clean blonde one and then if i'm using the shampoo i just use the same conditioner but it is such a good purple shampoo that you literally only have to use it like once a month and then your hair is like toned for ages so i'm not gonna go to the shower and pretend i am madison beer in her selfish music video okay thanks bye 
children love you but I couldn't help it Had a feeling that you never felt it Always knew that you were too damn selfish Don't know why I look the other way So next I'm putting this mask in my hair And I'm really really excited to try it because I've seen really really good reviews And I will let you know what I think of it It's called Joy Joyco who knows? Honestly, just screenshot that. I probably just like link everything that I used down below from Beauty Bay. Okay, Granny Pops, out of the shower. Oh my god, speaking of Granny Pops, can I just tell you something absolutely traumatizing? So obviously, like I didn't come up with Granny Pops. It's Haley Farm. If you, she's a YouTuber, she's American. I used to watch her. Oh, I kind of still do. She's like very different to me. She's like religious, like very PG. But like you know, sometimes you just want to like live your best American best girl life. Like that's when I would watch her. Like it's very wholesome content. Whereas I'm just like not so wholesome. She calls her fans girly pop and has like girly pop merch and all. So then I kind of said it, not taking the piss out of her. It just kind of makes me laugh, girly pop. Like I just always say it now. So like that was fine. Obviously she's literally like famous. Like she's never gonna know who I am. Comments on one of my videos, girly pop. So that's a bit scundering, and I kind of want to crawl into a hole and die forever. Our next product is a face mask. I've heard also really good reviews about this one it's the australian pink clay pore finding face mask my pores are something shocking like we don't even speak about them so i will be needing this i really like that this comes with a brush it is very satisfying oh my god right so has this happened to anyone else has anyone else just completely broken out during lockdown like my skin right when i say break my i'm so dramatic like i'm that bitch i hate it but I've gotten like my skin has gotten significantly worse since lockdown. Maybe it's like low key stress about like the world is falling apart and we're all dying. Like maybe it's that. My skin has not been popping off, so hopefully this will really help it. Oh my god, whenever John comes, we can do face masks with him. I'm gonna just break your heart. Like he got his hair cut today because he was so excited to come. Joking, he just got his hair cut today, but I'm just pretending that it was because he was so excited to come here. Cause it, like it's a nice story, but like it's not true. So I'm not gonna lie in this big robe that my dad stole from a hotel so like we're like a bit of like a mafia family like we're really just out here being criminals and then we'll be moving on to the next stage okay so that is off and my skin is glowing i'm really really enjoying that mask definitely gonna do that like seven times a week maybe now i'm gonna use this rosehip oil i literally used to always use rosehip oil but then i ran out of it and then i forgot to ever get it again but this is the ordinary one okay our skin is nice and moisturized now i'm gonna use some castor oil this is Jamaican mango and lime castor oil. Castor oil is really good for like hair growth and basically I put my eyebrows way too much. I never put my eyebrows and I don't know why I did it but I did and now they're like they're just really thin so I need them to grow a bit so I'm going to use castor oil because it helps your hair grow. Also whenever my eyelashes fall out which they're literally about to like I've had these on for a good month at this point and I can't get them done again so it really is a tragic time. I will be using this castor oil on my eyelashes. I swear like my tummy is in constant pain at this point because of those stupid Greek frat base from tiktok that i can't stop making i literally have like four coffees a day now and my boils are screaming for help and i just i don't know what to do about it okay right skin's done and now the last thing of tonight is tan now i am so excited i wanted to try this tan for so long but i don't know why i haven't it is the so sumi dripping dripping gold tan in ultra dark like it just sounds like a bit of me doesn't it my tanning routine is pretty straightforward i'm sure it's the same as everyone else's except i always used to not do this step and it really does make a difference i put a body moisturizer on like all over my hands because your hands always go way darker than everywhere else because they're so dry so I put all over my hands and wrists my elbows my belly button because i feel like my belly button used to like collect tan nice and then my knees and ankles and it just it really sorts you out the moisturizer i'm using is the peter thomas roth like mega rich one okay so my tan skincare hair is all done i'm gonna marinate now overnight also just before i go to sleep i've been putting people on to this for a good two years now i'd say so if you don't have it it's honestly self-sabotage yes it is pretty pricey but it is 100 worth the price like carmex and vaseline do not compare it is the dr lip nipple balm oh my god literally the best lip balm in the entire world okay so i'm up now i did wake up at 12 however i didn't get to sleep until like literally six i just don't sleep sleep i don't know no sleep it's summertime sleep i don't know about sleep it's summertime oh she called me Right, I only put on one layer of this tan. Like, I didn't put on much at all. And look how dark it is. I'm really thinking this could maybe be my new favourite tan. I'm going to put on now some more moisturiser because if you moisturise every day and you have tan on, it doesn't go like reptile skin. First, let me hop back to my skin. I got bars in my lungs. 
Vamos ao vivo. Okay, I'm so excited for this part. So if you watched my last video, you would know I had a bit of an incident with my straighteners and my cat did piss on them. But Beauty Bay sent me these. It's called T3 Single Pass. And like I watched the reviews and all on YouTube and apparently like it is so good. And I'm so excited. Oh my God, look how pretty it is. It's rose gold and white. Like this is perfect for my room. Also, we do not forget to use heat protectant spray in this house. My hair would frazzle off if I didn't use heat protection spray. I'm using this one. It is by Amica. Oh wow, me lucky. Like hey, we are done. Oh my god, my hair is so soft. I don't know, it's probably like a mixture of all the stuff I've used because I used that mask as well last night. I would give those straighteners 10 out of 10. I'm really happy with them. I think my boyfriend's coming soon and then I'll do my makeup and my outfit before dinner. Oh, I'm like so excited. I have made myself a wee spoons sex on the beach picture just for a while I'm doing my makeup. I do plan on having about three of these tonight. I haven't got drunk in about a month, so it does have to be done. John is here. He's got his wee GNT. He, he's a sucker for a good GNT. For this makeup, Beauty Bay were like, we'll send you out like loads of products, but literally half the stuff that I use is from Beauty Bay anyway. I kind of mix up my primers quite a lot, but my sister is a makeup artist and she uses this Illamasqua Hydroveal and it's like jelly, but literally every makeup artist uses it. Like I have a wee mini one that I've literally made last about three years. You look dusty. As we know, I always use different foundations, but I have finally found the one for me and it's really cheap, the EX1 foundation. I use it in shade 7 and it like really matches my tan. I don't know if it's full coverage. I'm really bad with like being able to tell if something's full coverage or light co coverage, and, but I've got loads of freckles at the minute. I don't know if you can see, but I have got loads of freckles, so I guess we'll see if, they co if it covers them. I've been using this foundation the, for the past like two months maybe. Okay, so it actually is quite a nice like light coverage like you can still see my mole it's not a mole it's like flat i don't really know what it is it's just like a big freckle also i honestly had nothing to talk about so i thought let's do a wee q a on instagram so i asked for some questions on instagram for the next two parts i am wildly excited i'm using for the first time jeffree star concealer and setting powder and i've heard so many good things i am a bit of a jeffree star stan i must say i literally watch like every single one of his videos i think i got a shade a bit too dark i feel like that's darker than my foundation so to lighten it up a wee bit i've got this revolution concealer conceal and define it's what the one i usually use Okay, so trying this powder, it is the Jeffree Star Translucent one. I feel like people don't even bake anymore, but I am still living in 2016, and baking works really well for my skin, so I'm going to continue doing it. Anyway, let's answer our first question from Instagram. Okay, someone said, how did you become so confident and stop caring what people thought? I realised that people, like, aren't going to say it to your face. They only say it behind your back, and most of the time, I'm not going to find out if people are, like, talking about me behind my back. So why would I care? Like, if I don't, what I don't know can't hurt me, do you know what I mean? It is whenever I get, like, say, screenshots of people slavering about me, or, like, hate comments that's when it kind of hits different but like that's kind of rare so i don't really mind for bronzer i'm using this doll beauty give me some bronzer i've actually been looking for a dupe for the mac give me some bronzer that i usually use so i'm hoping this will be quite similar it looks like a similar color to be honest how are your toes genuinely interested haven't heard about them since surgery oh my god my toe surgeon oh, fucking disgusting. yeah my toe surgeon did me so dirty like see that i left too i have half a toenail on it like they say you're meant to have like a slightly smaller nail but it should look like pretty much a normal nail which is a wee bit smaller nah man it's just it's completely deformed at this point Okay, this next thing I'm so excited for. Basically, my makeup artist who did my makeup for my formal used this thing called Soap Brows. Um, my eyebrows honestly looked amazing. So you literally just like you wet this and you go like this with your, the spoolie that it comes with. And then it makes your eyebrows so fluffy. Okay, eyebrows are done. I'm obsessed. Like, that is like my new favourite brow product for sure. I've wanted it for ages. I don't know why I didn't buy it. Okay, so for my eye makeup today, I'm going to use... This is the Beauty Bay 
I think it's Origin palette and I think it's 25 quid and you get that many eyeshadow colors and they're like really nice like neutral brown like you could do so many looks with it I'm gonna do something quite natural today because I did this the other day and I really liked it I use this like orangey color in the crease and I just built that up so it's like a nice wee crease color and then like I'm gonna mix some of the browns and do like a smoky wing liner but I can't I honestly can't speak whenever I'm doing my eyeshadow so I'm gonna have to go off and then come back when my eyeshadow's done because I have to really concentrate especially because it's liner like okay I finished my eyeshadow it wouldn't look that closely because like haven't quite perfected it yet so i'm gonna use this anastasia dewy setting spray i've been using it for ages my friend at least put me onto this highlighter it's the doll beauty highlighter this is a dew but i use this one i think it's called shine bright doll beauty are really popping off these days i use their lashes as well and their bronzer i was a really big fan of their bronzer there also that palette so pigmented i used this wee brush it's from beauty bay actually it's, it was so cheap it's called Just Wing It and it's like a wee tiny wee brush and it's so good for if you're going to do an eyeshadow wing. Okay, right. John has been giving me loads of hate because I was trying to give you the Sex in the Beach recipe and he was like, everyone knows how to make Sex in the Beach. Well, clearly not if I've had so many questions. You need peach snaps. I usually get this like fancy one and then I got the one from Tesco. Well, like my dad bought it for me. Sensational. So much better. Get the Tesco own brand peach snaps. Oh my God. And then some vodka cranberry juice and orange juice and it is sensational and then i have these these are my chloe elizabeth dot lashes which you always use but like i don't even know if i should put them on because i do still have some eyelash extensions on don't die am i being dramatic should i put on eyelashes no no okay i'm not gonna put my eyelashes on because i do have eyelash extensions and i need to reel it in a wee bit i'm only going to the down to the kitchen but if i was to put on eyelashes you know i'd be using my chloe elizabeth from doll they are the best we're literally nearly done i just need to do my lips i'm always looking for dupes for my lip comb because i usually use mac and mac are like really bad for testing on animals so i find this la girl lip liner in natural cream and it's literally like the exact color that i usually lip use for lip liner and it was so cheap that's my new favorite lip liner i'm really a big fan of that and then i'm gonna be using gerard cosmetics another new one for me this is the lipstick in shade nude oh my god i'm a huge fan oh my god this is been like my new lip combo and then right to top it off i have heard raving reviews about this this is the jeffree star the gloss does it have a shade wet peach oh my god apparently this color will leave you speechless so i'm really excited let's give her a go Oh my god, that is sensational. Okay, wait, I literally forgot what, like, my most favourite thing on this order was. I got this thing called Freck, and apparently, like, it's really big on TikTok for giving you fake freckles. And I know I do have freckles, but they kind of cover with the foundation. So I feel like if I just go over it with this wee thing, it'll make me look like I've got freckles. Okay, right, this is my final makeup. I am loving it. Can you see the freckles? I don't know if I did them really badly. To be honest, I did do them really badly, but that's just me being shit at makeup. Do you want to come review it? Come here. Okay, right, look at my makeup. Do you think, do you like it? Yeah. Right, what part's your favorite? The eyes. Mm -hmm. You like the eyes? Aren't they nice? Mm -hmm. Cheers to the freaking weekend. I drink to the... I've got this top on from Pretty Little Thing. It's kind of like a corset top. Look at my hand right now. Sorry. It's like a corset top kind of thing. It's also like way too big on me because I don't have any boobs to hold it up, but we'll not get into it. Then I'm wearing this belt from Pretty Little Thing. These jeans are from Collusion. Um, I'm I guess, sorry, every time I say that, I'm like, shut up, Olivia, who do you think you are? I actually do feel like I'm going on a night out right now, but I am just going downstairs in my kitchen to eat pizza and sex on the beach, but, like, I'd have it in no other way right now, to be honest. I hope you enjoyed my transformation, but that, that is, that is it. So, thank you to Bube for sponsoring the video. Who knows, maybe I'll do a montage of me downstairs having a party in my kitchen. Bye.